day is already. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if anybody will come in real quick. Real quick. And see at the tag shows up. What the world? Okay. Well, another What Did Jesus Say video. Hello to the one person who is viewing. Not sure who you are, but hello. Um, What's going on? We're finishing up in Luke 8 with the What Did Jesus Say series on. Uh, and we're in the place where now uh, is it Jairus? Uh, yes. Yes, with Jairus' daughter. This one is back to back trouble. So we're going to go to Luke 8, start at verse 40. Okay, now. So what are we talking about? Back to back trouble. That's what I said. Back to back trouble. Yeah. So is that when trouble comes? <coughs> Well, the old saying, if it ain't one thing, it's always something else. Yeah, that sounds like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, kind of like right now, like this mosquito. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Be gone, Satan. <laughs> I'm sorry. She all shining. Yeah. Mosquitoes trying to bite me on my leg. Yeah, that's my leg. Right. Come on, woman. Let's look at Frank. Hey. How much you go good in there? <laughs> Look like she threw a jar of Vaseline on her leg. Hey, I don't care. Okay. We're in Luke 8. I'm throwing at verse 40. My pants soaking wet. And it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him. For they were all waiting for him. I wonder how long they was waiting there. And behold, there came a man named Jai Jairus. And he was a ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Jesus' feet and besought him that he would come into his house. For he had one only daughter, about twelve years of age, and she lay a dying. But as she but as he went, the people thronged him. And a woman having an issue of blood twelve years which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any. Okay, so now, Jesus is supposed to be going to Jairus' house to heal his daughter because she was sick. Which was a critical condition. Yes. She's in critical condition. Yes. And now, there's a woman with an issue of blood for 12 years. I can't imagine. I can't imagine losing that much blood. Ooh, good Lord. I don't even want to imagine how much y'all... Mm, let me be quiet on it. Ooh. I'm glad I'm on my end. But, now we have this woman with the issue of blood. So, she came behind him and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her issue blood stanched. Dried up. Yep. And other says cease or dried up. And Jesus said, Who touched me? That's an important question. When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude thrown thee and pressed thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her daughter, Be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead. Now we're back on Jairus. His daughter just died. Trouble not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. 
And look at the timing on this. The news came to J. Iris that his daughter was dead. He had well, he had just finished speaking to the woman mm -hmm. with the issue of blood. Hadn't even turned away from her probably before the news came to J. Iris. Your daughter's dead. Mm. And you know what's going through J. Iris' head right now? We don't know really, but if this woman wouldn't have stopped him. Or even these people that was all around him. He could have got to my daughter quicker. I'm sure the first thing yeah, that happened was I a heart drop. He, I know he was mad. I, you know he was probably mad. Not necessarily mad, but... No, I would have been mad. I would have been mad. I'm trying to get the one man that I know that can heal my daughter to her. And all y'all come thonging him and in the way and then this woman touching the... Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about me. Yeah, I would, I would mention some people that we busy gone. That's me though. But when it comes to Jairus, Jesus immediately told him to fear not. That's why when I say I bet his heart sank. Mm -hmm. Don't even worry about Jairus. The first thing that came to Jairus mm -hmm. is probably fear. Yep. Am I reading what I'm Yeah. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter and James and John, and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept and bewailed her. But he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. Hold up. I always wonder something about this. Y'all was just crying and wailing and all this. Jesus said, she ain't dead. She's sleeping. And then y'all start laughing. <laughs> Those were not true friends. And if anybody else was family, like cousins and stuff, I know that y'all, you out. I, I don't claim you no more. How you laughing? The girl, the, she is dead. And y'all can just bust out a laugh like that? Well, first things first, a critical situation like that, my child just died. Jesus is on the scene and he says she's not dead but she sleeps I'm not gonna be laughing I'm gonna be more what's the word curious yeah I guess it's the word curious Wait, as to say, really? okay okay let's see what's what's getting ready to happen here I just can't imagine myself busting out laughing no. like, to the point that Jesus had to put them out this is somebody's child here And he put them all out and took her by the hand and called, saying, Maid, arise. Kick them all out. I would have to. Jesus wouldn't have had to kick them out. I would have kicked them out. <laughs> Get out of my house. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. I always wondered about that. Tell no man what was done. There were people who knew she was dead. Now she's up. Well, probably what, how he did it or whatever. I don't know. Like, people go dope. One thing I learned when Jesus told people not to tell anything, what did they do? Told it anyway. They told it anyway. All the, I wonder sometimes. If this is happening. There's no way. Lord. I'm sorry, Lord. I got a big mouth. Right. I, I got to tell it. I, I got to tell this. it. I can't right. keep it to myself. Right. It's hard to conceal. Um, greatness like that I yeah. saw you do something great for me in my life to me I can't keep my mouth closed about it it's hard yeah. to keep your mouth closed yeah. when God steps in and do something miraculous yeah so like I said this is his back to back troubles so the first thing was that J. Iris' daughter was sick and eventually died right and then another issue was brought towards Jesus with the woman with the issue of blood how many times? Well, the thing, I'm sorry, I don't mean to cut you off, but the thing with that is, it says when he got back from the gatherings, there was a multitude of people waiting for waiting him. Waiting on him. So that says there was a lot of need in that one place. There was a lot of need in that one place. There was a lot of people that was probably there waiting 
for a healing, waiting for deliverance, waiting to see their loved ones set free. And um, Jairus, he came and fell at the feet of Jesus, mm -hmm. pleading, this is urgent, I, this is an urgent need here with my child. She's at the point of death. Yeah. So, I ain't here for myself. I'm here for somebody else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So he fell at, fell at his feet with his need, with his need for his daughter's life to be spared. They're on their way. And on their way, this one lady says, I refuse to let him leave my presence without blessing me. If I can only touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. Yes. The hem of his garment. And I heard another pastor uh, said, um, this woman had to be, she had to be crawling to touch the hem of his garment. She had to yeah, be yeah, on her yeah. knees. She had to be on her knees. And if you look at Jairus, he fell on his knees before yeah. the Lord. She crawled on her knees. It's like when we get to a point where life knock us down on our knees. That's when we can have God, that virtue that left him. That's yeah. when that virtue, we can reach him. And we can get that virtue to come out of him and to us and to our situations. Yeah. And I hear it all the times when people say, Jesus knew it was her. This is where people got to understand the Godhead of Jesus and the the man flat man flesh of Jesus. I don't believe he knew it was her. I mean, why ask the question? Who touched me? I believe he knew it was her. I believe I'm, he is proving the it. point. And I'm gonna say, but the question is part of the point. Well, that's also part of my point, right? Because many were touching him and couldn't pull from him, right? Which means, and, and there were other times where he, where he was amazed at people's faith. He didn't know these people had these types right, of faith. Right, right, So, and, and that's why I believe he didn't know who she was because he runs into so many people who don't have faith. Right, right. That when this woman touched him, it was another whoa moment for him. Like, right, right, right. I see who touched saying. me. Right. Virtue came out of me. Someone's faith, the some of the strongest faith. I've ever felt right has come out of me. <laughs> right. Who was right, it? Right. And then you look a bit, and then they say, "All everybody denied it." Now everybody denied it, even though everybody was touching. <laughs> That's why they didn't get nothing. <laughs> That's why they couldn't pull from him. And Peter right. says, and "You know," and Peter says, "There's everybody here. They're all touching you." Right. Right. What you mean who's touching you? There's a whole bunch of people touching you. That's what he said. Virtue came out of me. Somebody someone, was desperate. <laughs> someone was desperate. So, someone truly had faith in their need Yes. for me. Right, right. That's why I always like, I just shake my head doing the same. Like, yeah. Right. But for me, I don't believe he knew who she was. She turned around and she said something. And that's why your faith has made you whole. Right. Now, when I say what I say, it's because <laughs> I believe he knew. Jesus, he's all knowing. So I know he knew who touched him. I believe he is proving the point to everybody else. Y'all are all touching me. But how many of y'all truly want this? Yeah. How many of y'all truly want this? And I believe he used her as an example to prove a point to them and even to us today. Do you really want it? Are you willing to fall to your knees for it? Yeah. Are you really desperate for me? Are you going to come before me? My goodness. Humble yourself. I feel like getting up walking in a circle right now. <laughs> Go I'm ahead and flow in the hole. I'm really trying not Go to get started. Go ahead and flip. Wait, hey, the, go ahead. Somebody type in <laughs> flow, sister flow. Just start walking in. Okay. Try not to get started because we're going to go meet our sister here in a little <laughs> bit. But... God is faithful. And I'm telling you, just from my own experience, I'm speaking from some of these people who had that type of faith because I've my son died. It left me desperate for God. My God, it left me desperate for God. And I kid you not, once I got desperate for God and I got empty of myself, he manifested himself in such a way that you only read about in the word of God. 
in ways that I never even knew could even be possible for man. So I know <coughs> what it is. Like the woman with the issue of blood and like Jairus to fall at the feet of God. When we get to that place and that point in our life where I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of this situation. I'm sick and tired of being like this. And we fall at the feet of God. Virtue will leave Jesus and we will change. Whatever the situation is, it will change. And that's the stuff we draw. See, sometimes people don't understand it. The thing, the the things that we call to say God does or how the Lord blesses us, it ain't mainly because he does it. Yes, he does it. Right. But he does it because we draw it from him. Yes, yes. It's, the, it's our faith that draws things from the Father and but brings what we need into manifestation. Right, right, right. And listen, we don't know anybody watching now who will watch later. Whatever your troubles are, fall to your knees before him. He exalts those who humble themselves. Right. He exalts those who humble themselves. That's right. So whatever the problem is, whatever the issues, whatever the troubles, you know, humble yourself before the Lord. And, and sometimes you can get to a place and a point that to where that's all you can do. Yeah. Look at that lady with the issue of blood. She has spent all she had. Broke as a joke. Twelve years of going through this. Doctors been cheating people since Jesus time. Ain't that so? <laughs> Not all doctors, but you know. But that's what it takes sometimes for you get to a place in your life where you're sick and tired of being yeah. sick and tired. Yes. J. Iris, I mean, in both of these cases, both were critical. Both were desperate needs yes. from him. Yes. And the good thing in all of this is that the good thing in all of this is that Jesus just don't meet one person's need and that's it. Exactly. And it don't matter how far gone the situation seems like it is. He told Jairus, yeah, I just, yeah, I dealt with her. She touched me. There ain't no way I'm not going to do what yeah. I was going to do for her. He said, fear not. He didn't but say, he said, oh, fear not. That's my miracle for the day. Uh, sorry, Jay. Sorry, Jay. Go on to somebody mm -hmm. else in line, you yeah. know. No, that ain't uh, what he said. Just keep her around for tomorrow. I'll stop by. You know? No. No. No matter what's going on. No matter what's going on. He can handle it right then and there. That's right. And even if it don't happen right then and there, you better rest assured he's on his way. Yeah, they're right. Yeah. He, he's always he's on time. Always on time. Never late. He ain't he's on our time. On time. He's on time. Even when it seems like it's a dead that's, situation, yeah. it's the end. That's a message right there. He ain't on our time. He's on time. Might have to do a study on that. Get the preaching on that. That's yes, Lord. I'm not a preacher. She's more of a preacher. I'm not I'm a preacher a either. Preacher. I'm a Barnabas. I'm an encourager. <laughs> <laughs> but he's always on time with what we need. Right. He knows it. He sees it. That's right. But it, will our faith draw from him? That's right. And then we got to understand, too. You know, it's just looking at that situation. It was a back-to-back -back thing. That's one thing that we want to point out, that these were back-to-back -back troubles, one yeah. on top of the other. Yeah. And sometimes in our own lives, that's how it is. It seems like, man, we we going through one storm, come out of it, and then here comes something else. And it's like, good night. I'm like that sometimes. I'm like, good night. Lord, but you you said you will never put more on us than what we can bear. So we're going to trust you in this situation. And he just proved himself yeah. in just those little we're, verses we're, that. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm sorry. We're, no, I'm sorry. Because we're in that place now. We're trusting God to get to move. So there's a trouble after trouble. <laughs> it's not just don't want to work. But I believe it's just a pull on our faith. To say, God, we know you're going to do it. Right. We know you have another level for us. That's right. So we go stick, stick with it. Keep our That's faith right. going. That's it. That's hey, all we can do. What else it. can we do? We can't fold up under pressure. We got to keep pressing. I mean, what else can we do, y'all? We got to keep pressing. I don't care how bad things look like Jesus said it. And I mean, and to, and to prove what he said is just what we just read in, in, in these last few chapters in chapter 8, finishing this off. Jairus, the woman with the issue of blood, the, ma the demon possessed man, all these people had issues. And Jesus said it to validate what he said, all these proof. He said, in this world, you will yeah, have trouble. Mm -hmm. You will have tribulation. Yes. You're going to have trouble. But 
be of good cheer. I, I have, have overcome, overcome the, the world. world. And I allow that thing to minister in me. When trouble comes, and I feel like these troubles are on top of me, and I'm like, Lord, I don't see how I'm going to press past this. I remember those words that Jesus said. That's why we got to let this word get inside of us. Yes. And when it get inside of us, the Holy Spirit will bring it out of us. And we got to start speaking into the atmosphere. Yes. We start speaking these words. And these demons got to back up. Yes. These oppositions got to back up. <laughs> these troubles are going to have to bow to the name of Jesus Christ. The finished works of the cross. Claim these things, y'all. We are not fighting for victory. We are fighting from victory. Yes. We're fighting from, from victory. When you get the revelation that you're already victorious, like we have to get the revelation, we're already healed. Right. We're already made whole. That's it. You know, God has already taken care of our need. That's right. You say He's taking care of it. Like, keep your faith going. Keep that's your it. faith going. And that's Draw now from faith. Him. That's now, now faith. faith. Now faith. faith is. That's it. It ain't maybe later faith is. It That's ain't right. yesterday faith was. That's it's right. now faith That's is. That's it. And we got to start exercising these things, y'all. We can't just be talking about it. We can't just be praying about it. We got to start being about it. We have covenant rights as believers. Like in church today, one of my sisters, whatever, she was dealing with something, some kind of little sinus pressure or pain <coughs> was trying to plague her. The devil is a lie. That's my sister. She got a right. Laid hands on her, commanded it to go, and guess what it did? It left her. Mm -hmm. We can't. I, I, just, it, I mean, for me, I felt like James when he said, "You know, for you to have something, and you know your brother, your sister need it, and you say, well, I hope you get what you need." How is that helping them? I got faith for somebody to say, "Hey, I'm sick. I'm hurting. I got enough faith to pray for you." Yeah. And I got enough sense to know that I got authority and I got power for whatever it is that's messing with you to leave you. We got to be about this. When Jesus said he was about his father's business, we got to be about the father's business. That's what he died. That's what he came for. He demonstrated. He died for it. And he done rose from the grave. And now he done gave us the Holy Ghost. We can't let the Holy Ghost stay in us and stay and lie dormant. Mm -hmm. We got all of heaven rooting for us. We got angels. All around us, power from on high, the Holy Ghost within us. And I remember, um, uh, I was a when I was part of Men of Valor, the Elder Martin, and a revelation. It always brought a revelation to me. When we are born, we know we're all born into sin. Right. So when we're born, we are born with every sin capable of doing in us. Right. We can commit any and every sin. That's right. But once you get born again, once you're born again, it means you are born with all the help, with everything you need to overcome this world. Quick, that's right. That's it. That's why Jesus said, like, it's not, like, people just say, it's not just a saying being born again. It's, if all men are born into sin, be born again. Be made new. Be made whole. There's so much help. The Holy Spirit. That's right. Is here to help. We That's have it. angels here to assist us. Right. The Father is watching over us. That's Jesus it. is interceding right. on our behalf. Right. right. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. That's right. We have so many weapons. That's it. We have Man. so many weapons. Too many weapons that there ain't no way yeah. we can lose. No way. No way. None. None. And then like, going back to what you said, we're born into sin. Naturally speaking, very mm -hmm. easy. We do what we do when we're born in a sin. Yes. Same thing when we're born again. The help comes from on high. It ain't by our own strength, by our own mouth, by our own might, I'm sorry, but by the spirit and the power of God. Yes. It's easy. It comes natural. So we really got to get to a place in our lives, you guys, where we are truly walking by faith, yes. not by sight, where we're truly not just talking about the word, not just hoping and a wishing that but we are really truly exercising what we believe yes so <clears throat> what i want to do right now the word says when two of us touch and agree in anything yes it shall be established so for everyone who's watching right now 
We don't have to be by each other. We know the anointing is transferable. That's right. If you see a name on this list, just come in agreement. Whatever troubles there are going yes, on. Yes, yes. Even for those who are not watching now, but will watch this, this yes, video Lord. later. Yes. Father, in the name of Jesus. Yes, Father. We thank you, Lord God. That no matter the troubles that are coming there are brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes, Father. That they fear not. Yes, God. And only believe. In the mighty name of Jesus. That they humble themselves. Yes, Lord. And fall before you. Yes, God. We thank you, Lord, that every need is taken care of. Yes, Lord. We thank you for testimonies. Yes, Father. Not just for those we are praying for, but for us also. Yes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Whatever the needs, Lord God, whatever the needs. Yes, God. We call them done. Yes, Father, in the we name of Jesus. We call troubles removed. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Bless you, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' Amen. mighty name. Amen. Amen. And believe, guys, that no matter what, he can do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. Yes. He can do yes. exceedingly, abundantly. Think about those two words, exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask or think. So even if we don't even ask for it, God is doing mm -hmm. it for us yes. right now. So I don't care if you are seeing so much right now. Sometimes it seems like we're, we're one person facing a, a multitude of an army when it comes to trouble sometimes. It don't matter what things are looking like right now. All it takes is you having faith in God. And as long as God is fighting for you, everything going to have to... Like the, like the Red Sea, it had to part mm -hmm. for his people to go through. Them enemies will have to get out your way. That's right. Every obstacle, every circumstance, I have to get out your way. So have faith, y'all. Have faith. Learn from the scripture. Learn from the word. Let it encourage you. Yes. I encourage you to read the word. Yes. It's a blessing to us just to, you know, and I was, as I was reading through Luke chapter 8, my God, the Holy Spirit said, you know, break this thing down. And, and if you haven't, you can probably go back and find uh, some of our other What Did Jesus Say videos pertaining Luke chapter 8. Uh, we'll have to go back on one. I don't know what was going on. We did a video. Um, yeah, and Facebook and it, deleted it. Yeah, it somehow got deleted, but yeah. we'll go back to that. Um, but yeah, definitely just keep yeah. your faith and your trust in the Lord. I don't care what things are looking like. And um, it, it's got to move. You know, these mountains will have to move. Yeah, and they're going to move. Yes, they are. They're going to move. All right. Once again, go to the Hope Center Ministry page. We'll be posting this video. Even though this is on my Facebook page, we'll be putting it on the Hope Center Ministry page. We'll at some time be uploading them up to YouTube also. So subscribe to our YouTube page. You know, any questions any prayer requests leave them in the comments messages right we'll get to them we'll be praying for you yes yeah. so until our next what did jesus say video you guys be encouraged you guys keep the faith and you guys never cease to pray we love y'all talk to you later all right love y'all peace all right. see i've been hitting this finish but it ain't finished